So Aaron, so a lot of agents will charge, you know, a conveyancing fee, maybe of three to $500. And I'm just curious if let's say they had about 150 to $200 left over after paying for conveyancing, what would you recommend a listing agent hire you to do for them to make the most use of that, you know, those funds? Yeah, so if an agent is looking to save money on end time on their administrative duties, I would first start with applying their money towards a listing package. So we have two listing packages. One includes photos and listing presentation, custom flyers. Is that the actual photography? Is that the actual photography? The photography, yes, yes. Okay. So the the economy basic and luxury listing packages, we use Plush Media as our vendor and they'll take the photography videos. If you get into the luxury packages, you get you know, a 3D tour, you get drone photos. So if you're really looking to like up level your next listing coming up, the basic and luxury listing packages include everything from photos, videos, customized listing presentation and custom property flyers and social media graphics. So okay. that really gets you up and running. If they do not have somebody doing their listing coordination, I would also suggest applying their money towards that package, which essentially is just inputting all the nitty gritty details into the MLS, coordinating the sign installation and removal, and making adjustments to the MLS as needed over time. Um, and how do agents like, do the, is there a form they fill out for you to start and then make changes in between? Like, how does that work? Yeah. So I'm using Cognito forms uh, for all of their submissions. So essentially they'll go to our website, they'll purchase their product and they'll get a digital product. It's basically a PDF that has a link for the order form. And then they submit the order form. And again, like if it's something like MLS adjustments, they can just go right into the order form, submit it, I'll get it. Yeah, so far it's been pretty seamless using those forms. And what's the typical turnaround time they can expect? For listing photos, um, that is anywhere, I mean, the, the more in advance that they select a day and time for their photos, the more likely they're going to get that day and time. Um, so we suggest anywhere from like two to three weeks before, but Again, you know, if it's a week before or even a couple of days, there's a great chance that we can get a photographer there. It just might not have the flexibility of time for what they're looking for. So for the listing photos, so what's the turnaround time from when they are taken to when you receive them and the turnaround time from when you receive them to the listing going live? So listing photos are received at 3 p.m. the next business day after they are taken and videos okay. are about one to two business days um, following that. As far as when the listing is going to go live, it's up to the agent to decipher when they want the listing to go live. As far as your schedule goes, so three o'clock, let's say five of your clients have pictures back. I'm assuming they're not all getting listed that day. I would say uh, one business day from okay. that. Okay. Yep. So from yep. the time that listing photos are taken, let's just say two business days for the photos to be organized and for the listing to go live. Okay, nice. Mm -hmm. And uh, are there any other kind of services that you think are the top services that a listing agent should get when they're starting out? Yeah, so aside from the packages that I highlighted, they could also decide to shop a la carte, which is just one service at a time. And if they wanted to do that, they could do a Facebook and Instagram ad. Those are really nice, just listed Facebook ads. We suggest doing 10 days for $5 a day. Hmm. That will give their listing maximum reach on their Facebook and Instagram platform. They can also decide to do more collateral. They can request a just listed flyer, a just listed brochure, a just listed newsletter. They could do a just listed email campaign. I mean, we've got it all for them to choose from. Here's a random question. If let's say the agent was going to do an event, 
uh, or you know a seminar or an event are you able to do social media marketing campaigns for them for that yeah absolutely so one of our services on the marketing concierge website is a custom email campaign okay really cool um as a person who has been on a team or has had a team for uh nine plus years now i can fully attest that i much prefer to fill out an incognito form you know a request for services than to do the actual work and i think once agents like i think we've sometimes we delude ourselves into thinking we like certain parts of the job or we're good at it or it's easy enough. And so we just hold on to parts of our job that if once you get rid of it, you never want it back. Mm -hmm. And I know this for a fact, for me at least, because there have been times when let's say I needed something done and I had to do it myself on the weekend or something like that. I'm like, ah, oh, I hate this. Mm -hmm. So, you know, an agent, if truly you are meant to be an agent, you are better in front of people. You love the high of getting a new client. And it would be better to go suffer through the 99 no's to get to that one yes, so that you can do a good job for that client and then hire you, you know, to get the rest of the stuff taken care of so that that agent could focus on getting the next client. You know? Absolutely. I mean, especially the packages, which include bundle of services and our combination of administrative tasks and digital marketing, the agents saving about two, two and a half hours at least of their time.